a bit nervous. If you can't tell. So, I just had attempted robbery down the street here. Two guys on motorbike came and tried to uh, push me off my bike. And I pushed them off the bike there. I have made it to Kruy. First light, first thing in the morning. And I'm about to hop on the old bike and head to Kotobumi, which is 177k away, which is a pretty long ride. I don't know if I'm going to head all the way there right now. It would be nice because then I could get my visa the next day, apparently, and then head right back. We'll see if that's possible. Otherwise, uh, I'll have to spend two nights away. i got to go get my visa extension. I'm pretty tired, feeling a bit rough. Great monkey sounds as I'm just been biking uphill. I've got a kilometer to go. So my friends down at uh, Biha at the surf break mentioned they had a friend up here and uh, her husband's a pastor. So uh, it's on the way to get my visa extended. So I stopped in and they've just been super kind and friendly and offered me a place to sleep over here. It's right next to the church. They're playing football over there right now. It's uh, cozy, really good food, really awesome people. I'm stoked and I just had a nap for like three hours in the middle of the day after a kilometer of altitude gain this morning, so. Petrus, ini tulang nak, salam tulang ya. Called so my yeah. Pechal pechal consists of uh, many vegetables like uh, long bean, uh, bean sprout, and then uh, mustard, and then peanut, and mixed by uh, br uh, brown sugar, sometimes pine nuts, and this is so my made from flour, and then peanut, brown sugar, soy sauce. Uh, bomba onion, garlic, pepper, squid. Yeah, I yeah, I yeah, cook yeah. by like uh, teriyaki sauce. Okay. Yeah, and nice. then this is peye. Peye. Yeah, peye. Indonesian food too, made from flour, mixed by pepper, and then uh, peanut, peanut, and then garlic, and then coriander, mm. and then Fried. Fried, yes. Yeah, fried. And Goreng. then a coconut uh, water. Oh. A coconut oil. Coconut oil. Yeah. Okay. And Lovely. Then, yeah, I think Cucumber. that's all. That's great. This is egg. Telur. Yeah, telur. Roti. 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 Cucumber. Timun. Timun? Yeah, timun. Yeah, cucumber. Timun. Nasi. Nah, no, no nasi. nasi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mana sayur sawi tadi? And Bikin nasi ni. Buah naga. Yeah, buah naga.
I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Deep down in my heart, sing, sing about deep, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Talk about deep, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Puji Tuhan. Hallelujah. <laughs> so I was second day of my visa run today after a pretty awesome night at Riyama's uh, church house there. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good sleep though because the mosquitoes were biting me and attacking me. I finally I built a tent out of the sheet that was on my bed with a table tipped over and managed to get some sleep but uh, not enough. And then woke up and Riyama was being very friendly, so I didn't get out of there until eight. They loaded me full of like a kilo or two of food too, which was awesome, but it's also a ton of weight. And so unfortunately, shortly after leaving there, I did have to pretty much run to the toilet and then I had to do that again. And then throughout the day, basically had to do that. And I was also expecting it to be a mostly downhill day today, but I still had over 2000 meters of elevation gain. It's quite a bit hillier than I expected. And so it was a really long day. Beautiful, beautiful country. Lots of coffee plantations and lots of rolling hills and as usual tons of hay misters and people stopping to take my photos and multiple uh, close calls today on the road with toilets and very hot day. Finally made it to Kotabumi though. It was 197k from Biha. Did it in two days and it was over 4,200 meters of elevation gain. So today I think it was 2,300 meters of elevation gain and about 135 kilometers. Uh. Oh, there's thunder and there's rain coming and I'm excited because I'm gonna be dry. Oh, what a day. I'm here in Kotabumi, which is where I had to come to get my visa. Uh, it was an epic journey to get here. It was just not good. I just didn't have a lot of energy. At one point, I, th I was thinking I was like almost there, halfway there, and I looked at where I was and I had not come very far at all. Went to this hotel that had like got good reviews. They looked at me and then they, and they basically said, uh, sorry, we're full, which was a lie. I could tell they weren't full, but for some reason they were like against having white man in their hotel and I couldn't quite figure out why. I have a suspicion that they had to deal with the other hotel in town that, you know, send the foreigners to this place because your place is too cheap. The foreigners will pay more and stay with us. We'll make a deal. You get all the other, all the cheap customers. We get the expensive customers. Uh, it sucked because that hotel had AC rooms for cheaper than the fan rooms at this other place. And I really wanted AC. I really just wanted to dry out and chill. I don't usually like the AC, but one thing that I've come to realize about the AC rooms is that they're actually mosquito proof. Whereas the fan rooms, they don't put screens over the windows. So sure, you got a fan, but the fan's not strong enough to keep the mosquitoes off you and you get stung by mosquitoes all night. I knew this, but I, I was just hoping that maybe the mosquitoes would keep out with the little holes, but sure enough, man, I was like, I got no sleep and the mosquitoes were just buzzing around me all day. It sucked. So I moved the next day to a nicer room, much nicer room in the same hotel, paid too much money. I think it was probably the most I'd paid for a hotel room in Asia. I think it was $40 for the night. And then the next morning I went to get my visa, which I was hoping to get same day. Sure enough, they're like, no, come back on Friday. It was Tuesday. So it's like four days later, come back. I'm like, oh. I would have been more bummed if I was feeling keen to bike that day, but I was probably gonna spend a rest day just to recover my energy anyways. But four days was a bit much, especially knowing that this, there's a guy there who was getting it the same day. He had just paid the right person, pay twice as much money and get it right away. I ended up spending more money on the place, the hotels here, and I'm still paying for a place down in Krui, which made it extra shitty. It's an expensive visa run, including the price that I'm paying for my place back. I'm probably spending over $200 to extend this visa. Uh, but anyways, I went there a day earlier today and they gave it to me, thankfully. So I'm going to bike out tomorrow, same way I came back to the church place. Uh, then the next morning I'll head down to Korea and to Biha and it will have been about a full week visa run. Big waste of money, waste of time. You know why.
It all makes sense. My complete name is Marcus Matthew Fraser Fukonen. <laughs> what is your nickname? I have many nicknames. Uh, some people call me Marmu. Marmu. Or Spoon. Or Don Capueno. Or MP. Or MP The Last Dawn. So many. Or Fathead. <laughs> <laughs> or Macus, um, White Shaft, Mucus puking in the bin. <laughs> Canada, where do you come from? I come from Liwa. Nice. What is your hobby? Surfing and filmmaking and all sports pretty much. Make sure the light defeats it the dark. I spend every hour of every day keeping you safe. And I climb every mountain, swim every ocean just to be with you, fix where I'm broken.